Hey there, CJ Math students, and welcome to Notes 4.2, Part 2. So um, here we're going to really focus on exponents because as I learned yesterday, we have a, a difficult time understanding what they are. So if I have something that says 3 to the 2, that says 3 to the second power or 3 squared. It is not 6. It is not just 3 times 2. So circle that, not 3 times 2. It is 3 times itself, 3 times 3. 3 is called the base number and 2 is called the exponent. So you have a base of 3 and an exponent of 2. And the exponent, the little number, tells you how many times to write the base before putting dots in between. So write 3, the base, 2 times because it's 3 squared because the exponent is 2. So 3 to the 2 means 3 times 3 which is nine, obviously not six, right? And it's not three plus three, it's three times three, right? Um, and basically, so three squared is not equal to six, it's not equal to three, it's equal to nine, okay? T two to the third, two to the third power, or two cubed when it's to the second, to the second power, we'll say to the second power, we call it squared, to the third power, we call it cubed, like you have three dimensions, so you've got a cube out of it. So two in this case is the base. Three in this case is the exponent. And so the exponent of three tells us to write the base of two three times. So two to the third is gonna be two times two times two. And what is two times two? Well, two times two is eight and then times two is, oh sorry, two times two is four, my fault. Two times two is four, and then four times two is eight, right? So two to the third is not six, it's eight, right? So four to the two is not eight, it's four times four, which is 16. Three to the three is not nine, it is three times, times three, sorry, times three. Three times three is nine, and then nine times three is 27. So 3 to the third is 27. 5 to the 2 is not 10. It's 5 times 5, which is 25. 4 to the third is not 12. It's 4 times 4 times 4. So 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64, right? I'm going to have you do these guys in Ed Puzzle. All right, let's practice with... Um, letter A in doing some PEMDAS. So there's no parentheses. We don't have to worry about that. Right, PEMDAS on the side. No parentheses, but there are exponents. 4 to the 2. Remember, 4 to the 2, if you draw that goalpost, it's 16. Now drop down 18 divided by 2 plus 16. Sorry, that looks like plus 6 plus 16. Now, um, there's no more exponents, there's no multiplication, but there is division, so 18 divided by 2 is 9 plus 16, and then 9 plus 16 is obviously your answer of 25. Right? B, we do parentheses, um, what's in the parentheses, but again, when you're inside the parentheses, it's like PEMDAS starts all over. So within the parentheses, you have to do this exponent first, right? But 5 squared is 25, you still have two numbers within parentheses when you're done, times three. Now I go ahead and do the remaining addition that's in parentheses. That gives you 27 times three. And now the parentheses are gone because I've done every operation within the parentheses and now I'm just left with what is 27 times three? Well, seven times three is 21, 20 times three is 60, that would be 81. So again, it makes that nice V. C or do in Ed Puzzle. D, let's do now. Um, write PEMDAS off to the side. We have exponent, no parentheses, but we have exponents. 4 squared is 16 plus 16 divided by 8 times 2. No more exponents. I do have multiplication, but I also have division, and division pops up first when I move left to right. So 16 divided by 8 is 2 times 2, 16 plus 2. It's going to be tempting to do the 16 plus 2 and then times 2, but remember, I've got to do all my multiplication and division before I add, so 2 times 2 is 4, so 16 plus 4. Now I'm left with just addition or subtraction. 
all I got is addition and that's 20. So again, it makes my nice little V. So finally on letters E here, again, you want to do PEMDAS within the parentheses first. So notice we have exponents within the parentheses. That means three squared is nine. So I have two plus five times nine, still in the parentheses, uh, minus two cubed. I don't do those exponents first because I still got stuff to do in the parentheses. So I want to do five times nine, which is 45. Still have two plus 45 within the parentheses. Um, two plus 45 is 40, oh, sorry, minus two cubed. Two plus 45 is finally 47. And now I'm finally done with the parentheses. So I can check that off, minus two cubed. Now I want to do that other exponent, which is 2 cubed. So remember, this is 2 times 2 times 2, which is not 6. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, so 8. So I got 47 minus 8, and that finishes off with my answer being 39. So look at this beautiful looking V that we got going on here after all that work. Lastly, F you'll do in Edpuzzle.